Hello there, everybody. Welcome to Movies Are Rear for the month of July, right? Yeah. That's, that's what I'm doing, it, right? Uh, hello there, everybody. Uh, this is George. I'm here with Carrie Lyles. Carrie, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. Ryan Lance. Uh, Back at it again. Completely normal Ryan Lance here. There, there's no weird visuals happening on this no, show. There, there's never, never, there never there's, is. There's definitely an energy around him, but I can't tell why, what is the energy. Why, Hard to put into words. Yeah. Yes. Anyways, we're a little bit late on this one. We said we were going to do monthly. And you know what? Eh, it's kind of monthly. You know, it's fine. Movies monthly. are back. Kind of. Yeah, we should update. Okay. We should update the state of moviedom out in the world. Okay. Because it's been two years since we, you know, the. It's been about two years since the pandemic, which is a, a thing to think about. What? It's been almost. It's almost oh, a year. The what? The pandemic. What? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so <laughs> we were like, movies are back, baby. They're back. Let's we go. We said that a year ago when we watched We Tech. did. <laughs> right? We did. We said that. And we said that again. And guess what? We didn't learn a lesson because <laughs> we, we things, are, see old. things are uncertain now. Things are uncertain now. We'll see how, uh, you know, we got the Delta variant and, uh, uh, COVID still a thing, so we'll see. I think I'd, uh, I th- I have the feeling that out of sheer force of will, just how we're not getting another stimulus check at this point, there's no stimulus variant, friend. Uh, I think we're just gonna push through and movies might just come out at this point. Um, what but, would America be without ignoring problems and just pushing exactly. forward as if nothing's going on? And that's why we need Venom right now. <laughs> yes, it's bullshit. Let I would, I want to see some of that carnage. Yeah. Um, so yeah, who knows what the state of uh, films uh, releases will look like uh, the next time I'm recording a podcast, which will probably be soon because we're going to be talking about July stuff and it's like the middle of August, but, uh, you know, whatever. Zola, a movie that came out and that we saw. Uh, fortunately, as it was a, one of the, I think the first big A24 theatrical release, yeah, uh, yeah. Not in an Alamo draft house, which we usually and buy. not on, exclusively on Epics and not exclusively on <laughs> like Epics. Mod was, which is like you know a nice compromise. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice <laughs> middle ground. I want to see uh, Epics' numbers like the Saint Mod bump from all the weirdos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like one of those like stock things where it's like oh I, oh oh, well, <laughs> oh that's that's a shame. <laughs> Because now it's up. Was Google it on, search for what is epics? Just, just like spiked. Because <laughs> they put it on a normal. It's on a normal service now. Is yeah, it? it's on Hulu. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, it's on Hulu. I remember that. Dang. Well, I, I would love to see that data. What <laughs> that Disney was like. We need this. We like this. <laughs> she put a fucking. Now, first cow came out. First cow was last year. Yeah. It I, came out. I can't think um, of any other right before things. Yeah. I rented that and then started watching it, and then I was like, I can't do this put, today, and I turned oh. it off. <laughs> put Lamb on. Ooh. I'm so excited for that movie. That's going to be like... On the Sundance channel. I don't know. I have a joke. That was amazing. <laughs> Anyways. Fubo, baby. Fubo. Fubo. Peacock. <laughs> uh, no, that's not funny. That's not a good time. Uh, Zola. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since we I thought about this film. Uh, obviously, this was the sort of adaptation of the infamous, I don't know, 2016, 2017 Twitter thread about there. Um, I had no idea what the thread, what Twitter thread was about until I saw the film. Turns out it's about a lady who meets uh, another lady. Uh, they go like, oh, we're going to go like to this really cool strip club. We'll make a lot of money over the weekend. It'll be great. It'll be fun. Uh, and turns out... Uh, she like pimps her to like yeah and then yeah and then uh an adventure ensues of her trying to escape and right. survive these crazy people um yeah i don't know I'll, carrie what do you think of this film i thought it was really good i think uh i remember reading the twitter thread when it first came out but i didn't go back and reread it before the movie so it was like experiencing it for the first time again and i thought it was uh really good at mounting the suspense with just like Every time something got worse, it's like, oh god, oh geez, oh no. <laughs> and uh, with all the characters at play and how uh, th- the main girl, Zola, was just hilarious. I thought she was great. Loved it. I really liked it. And I thought Riley Keough's performance was perfect as just hateable, but kind of <laughs> also not hateable, but then hateable again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, Ryan, what do you think of it, if you remember as well? I, I remember, I think I read part of the thread years ago, but I you know didn't retain anything either. Um, I liked it. it. I liked the, like, it had, like, a lot of, like, you know, internet, like, visuals 
mm-hmm. um, and how it like worked with things. But I think just because the story's just like a thread, it doesn't feel like an arcing. Like there's no like arcs in it. It just is just a flat line. Like here's here's the beginning of the night. Here's the end of the night. It doesn't no one learns anything besides like oh Riley Keough is a little weird. Um, <laughs> like that's the only lesson. That's not really like yeah. a, a lesson or like a thing. So it feels kind of unsatisfying in that sense. It's certainly entertaining like all the way through but it just doesn't it just doesn't transcend anything particularly uh, like like interesting for ryan lance overall yeah just because it just it just kind of like it just goes and then it's like oh the movie just ended Mm -hmm. it Um, does and also zola is like a great character she's very funny and interesting but i just always got the impression that nothing like Things phased her, but, like, she just put up with it. Mm-hmm. So there was no, like... I didn't feel any tension with her in the situation because this knew, like, oh, she'll just, like... Also, you don't really... She's she'll, never... just, like, she'll just, like, bullshit her way through this. Her character's kind of, um, more or less a, a vehicle for the for the viewer. Because yeah. she, you don't get to know the character, Zola. She's just surviving and just yes. reacting and doing the best she can in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh yeah. and that's sort of just like how the thread probably went because she was just explaining like this crazy stuff so like you were just watching riley keogh have a lot of sex and right. weird things pr- pr- happen around you and you just react in funny ways um and that's fine that's fun it just didn't you know i like the pacing of it for sure i think they obviously realized when they were like we're adapting this twitter thread let's have some fun with it how do we adapt this how do we capture the manic energy of like you reading this thread and it just keeps getting crazy and crazier. How do we capture that in terms of like editing and shot and the narration and the music? Cause it, it all sound, the music, it was like very like dr- surreally, like, dr- yes, like weird. It was yeah. Very cool. yeah. Um, and it has, uh, I think one of my favorite moments in the movie, um, it's, uh, I think it's when they first, Hit up the the first spot that I forget the name of the the crazy chick that Riley Keough plays. Do you remember the name of her? Riley, Riley Keough. Keough. Okay. Yeah. Riley so the Keough first shitty strip club they go to, mm-hmm. uh, and like there's the moment where Zola like is picturing herself, uh, like the energy of her performance, like that mm-hmm. sexual energy. Like that thought that was really cool. That was a great moment there. Stephanie. Stephanie. Mm-hmm. Wow, really? Okay. It's S T E F. Oh, okay. Oh, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> I think that was a, that was a great moment, um, and I also thought it was really cool how they um, used the fact that I didn't know about this that Stephanie, I guess, had her own clap back of like this is what actually that, that was so that funny. was really you good know, when they interjected she her version on Reddit or whatever. And then they ca- they captured that. Mm-hmm. That was fucking great. That I, was, I think that was, that was my a, favorite. moment. That yeah. was a very fun. I just wish they did more did of that. More with that. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, uh, I thought they were gonna keep doing that, but like, but yeah, it, it's it's really good. Um, it didn't woo me, but uh, it's really cool, and I think it's as far as movies based on Twitter threads, <laughs> it ranks up there. It ranks it's pretty high <laughs> up there uh, in terms of that. So, yeah. Uh, Cool. Um, what other famous Twitter thing would you want to become a movie? What other famous Twitter thread? Oh, oh man, I don't uh, think the, there's enough story in for some of my favorite Twitter moments. Yeah. Um, I don't know why. But you guys remember that weird Kevin Smith tweet? Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Are you talking about the one with his wife? Yeah. With oh his yes. Wife. Oh yes. <laughs> Please, I would not want that to make a. a <laughs> No, but that is a great, that is a great... Love Just Kevin Smith's life. Let, let me, let me, let me find that right here. I don't know what we're talking oh, about. Oh, please look know. that up. I'm, I don't know. I'm going to race Ryan. I'm going to race Ryan. Smith Kevin Smith tweets. We wipe. <laughs> oh, God. Images. I'm okay, weird. here we go. Okay, I found God it. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Smith tweeted on January 9th, 2009, so early days of Twitter. Right. 140 um, characters, so. 140 characters. <laughs> Uh, ten years in, and we both like we're cheating on each other with each other. A decade plus, and her clip brown tape area still pones my dick. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> this was a director that and, a lot and, of people and then really five, respect. Five years ago, oh he tweets. God. Five years later, he tweets. Five years ago today, I lost a bet with someone. Probably was, was to post the worst tweet she could muster on my Twitter. And I was like, oh, sure. fuck <laughs> off. Go to sure, hell. sure, that's what happened. Oh my god. But yeah, I would love if I don't that. I want to see that movie. <laughs> what the hell? 
I love Cameron, him. Did you that's just what, wink at me? Don't what, lie to the kid. Don't lie to the people. <laughs> yeah, that's what Moose Jaws is going to be about when he makes that movie, Moose Jaws. <laughs> uh, I also like uh, all the... Uh, another Kevin Smith thing I like is him, for some reason, his insistence on posting p- b- very high quality pictures of him staring directly into his webcam with the <laughs> ring light. And he just looks like absolute shit. Like he's been up for two days and his eyes are just bloodshot and his wife left him. I love those so much. What? what? Are you but not- I thought 10 years in it, they were both in, like they're treating on each other with each other. That was a lie? Oh, man. Anyways. I, I can't think of any Twitter moments, so I don't know. All right, I don't we, think can, I can we can talk about Oh, uh, well, we can loop back to this at the end of the show. Maybe a short like. film on the morning after the Ted Cruz porn tweet. Like, Ooh. what that office and what the exchange of emails and texts. I would like that. That would be a short, nice short film, like on Hulu or something. That's, 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 that's a great idea. Oh, uh, you can make. Oh, there's so many like subs who actually did know that like their legs were public and they're like, oh, boobies. Yeah. yeah uh, what's uh, his name? Edgar Wright was like that on Instagram for a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Twitter. They should make more movies based on Twitter, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. H um, four. We just pitched to a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, um, an unexpected surprise, well, at least uh, it was unexpected to me because until it had appeared on my Twitter thread, on my Twitter, um, was uh, the Fear Street series of three films uh, adapting R.L. Stein's novels of Fear Street. And they're going to kind of, kind of, eh, <laughs> loosely based. They're very loosely based. Um, but yeah, apparently, originally, this was going to be three horror movies that were going to get theatrical runs that were going to show up month back to back. Based on this, and I was like, "That is a wild concept." That is wild. But yeah. here they are, and they on Netflix is like that didn't weekly. work out. That didn't work out. I wonder out. what happened. No, I don't know. <laughs> Who could say? Yeah. Interesting. Weird. Don't break the news to Ryan about the pandemic again. Why week. do they keep saying that? What's happening? <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's just. I guess we'll just like smush all three movies into one conversation. Uh, I will start by saying that this is a lot better than I ever would have fucking imagined. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. uh, especially like when I think um, what we have to work off of was like scary stories to tell in the dark, which is just such a great concept for a, a movie, and that was man, fairly, fairly yeah. let down. Fairly let. It Most, wasn't terrible. Most of the designs were fun. Yes, no, yeah, that was great. That was great. Yeah, but then the movie was like, oh. Yeah, that's kind right. of fine. Do you remember? I don't think I got to bring it up on the podcast when we talked about that movie. But do you remember how that movie ended with them being like, "We'll get her back someday." Maybe. <laughs> and then the movie ends and it's like, huh? Oh, I don't remember that. Because I don't even remember what the bit of that movie There's was. The that, like, she got stuck in a book or something yes. and they had to go get the book and they were like, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> I don't remember like, at what all. What the fuck? I have no memory. It didn't end. It was, it For some was... reason, I was compelled to rewatch that just so I could remember why I don't like it because yeah. it's fascinating as a note in history. But uh, anyways, but yeah, this is uh, this turned out a lot better. I think I'm the only one here who has uh, history with these books. Yeah, I, I, I gotta be honest, them. I didn't know that they existed. So yeah, so um, I saw the covers in out. my library at school. Yeah, uh, and I read them. Uh, but yeah, the covers were the the, the really cool thing because they looked like uh, they looked like slasher movie po- movie posters, like. Mm-hmm. Um, like there's like a lady in like her nightgown and some fucking like jock man like whoa and then it's just like it's like tonight was the night that she ba 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 the football man <laughs> whoa <laughs> I was more of a goosebumps kid <laughs> see that's why that's and that's why I like fear shit because goosebumps was like I remember reading goosebumps like oh this is cool and then fear shit was like this is like for fucking cool kids this is well, like Arl Arl Stein put on some sunglasses <laughs> with some fucking leather jacket um but yeah these uh these movies are very loosely based on that and I thought they were really fun I think the first one is a great standalone film. I like it a lot. It feels like the most substancey out of all them because it has yeah. because it has like a, a normal movie arc of like a beginning, a middle, an end, like a horror movie. Yeah. And then the I feel like the other one is just well, I guess like the second one's just Friday the Thirteenth, so that's why it didn't. Yeah. I, don't know. I think general consensus people like the second one the most. Apparently, really? huh. that's that's what I I think that's the highest rated one on Letterbox at least, which is like. Hmm, that's the one I like the least. Mm. Maybe, I think so too. But maybe I just don't. I just I'm just so tired of Friday the Thirteenth. That's the movies. thing. I mean, I like it as a treat, as a nice little thing. <laughs> yeah, but it's like out of these three, it's the weakest. Yeah, because like the first one was very Scream, 
Yes. And then the second one was The Witch and then Scream. You mean the third one. The third one was The Witch and then Scream again. Yeah. And that's a great treat. That's a good, that's a good double feature to me. Yeah. By the way, I did not know Scream 5 was happening like in January. Yeah, right? Hearing about it. No. Scream's coming on 4K. Directors of uh, Right or Not. Oh, yeah, sure. so maybe it'll be good. I've still only seen the first Scream. Really? Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, you're They're fine. not terrible. They're just Se- not second, interesting. Second one's fine. Second one's good. Third one's bad. Third one's bad. Fourth one is good oh, yeah. until the last ten minutes. I remember. I remember having a good time in the fourth one. Anyways, yeah, it has some really cool moments. It's a long and time I ago. Scream. I liked it, but I also didn't feel like super compelled by it. I don't no. Know yeah. Like, those are like the first like horror movies I ever like watched the whole series of. Mm-hmm. I think Scream is very much an academic. You're watching it in a films class and be yeah. like, hey, this is why this movie's <laughs> interesting. But now it's been like, the the spice of it and the why it was cool yeah. is kind of gone yeah. from it. So it's just like what it did that is interesting, and I still enjoy it that way. Mm-hmm. Like I kind of watch, I kind of like Halloween that way as well. Uh, but, anyways, yeah, I, I like these a lot. I I, I like one. Uh, I think. Well, it's weird because I think I like three. My is my favorite one, but I can't. It's weird because it's so interconnected with one. So I'm yeah. just gonna say one, three, two. I'm gonna say that. I, I think I agree with that. I think the first one definitely feels like the most like a full movie than just yeah. It ends with you know sequel bait that doesn't like mostly because I didn't know what was gonna happen. That's and true. In two, I knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, two was like oh it's, okay. It's, yeah. First one's definitely my favorite. I just don't I don't know where I would put. Two. Also, it's got the most like characters in yeah. it. Yeah. I just really liked the aspect of all of the past killers coming back. Yes, and also that. that. I just like that sort of thing. I want to know more about the little boy with the mask who just box that person <laughs> with a stick every time we see that flashback and made me laugh so hard. He's just like, bam! It's like, what the hell is his Yeah, story? because they're there in the third one, but they're kind of just like, they might as well just be zombies or yeah. anything. They're not mm-hmm. fascinating or interesting. And, uh, yeah. How do you guys feel about the twist at the third one? With the, the guy? With the guy, yeah. I was like, that makes sense. What what yeah. twist with the guy? Uh, how the, who the real villain of the story is. Oh, by the way, spoilers. I guess if you haven't yeah. seen these, but... I'm being kind of vague. Oh, I kind of figured it was it was something weird with that I guy. I figured he would His come name up. Was good, yeah, but he true. was bad. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I like how it was a nice. Um... It wasn't like like I figured something would happen, but like happens like oh that's that's fun. Mm-hmm. That's fun. It, I do it doesn't like, matter. No. But like, it's fun. Yeah. I do like how they tried to put a weird logical explanation on why this side of the, the town, yeah. all the bad shit happens, and all of a sudden, like, we have, like, the, the weird, like, Sunnyvale. Sunnyvale, like, Shadyvale, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, like, because that was in the books. <laughs> Sh- Shuddy's sunny side and Shitburg. <laughs> <laughs> and so they were like, oh, but the, they put a curse on it. And it's like, it's some asshole who's like, turns out the, the person is all the, yeah, the, the all the good luck happened. He's like, he's actually a bad guy, and they've been doing this. I, I thought that was interesting. Like, they've been like doing that, this yeah. for generations. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, cool. I thought it was just going to be that, uh, the, the first guy did it, and yes. then they've just been like reaping the rewards generationally, but they've mm-hmm. just been actively contributing to yes. it. I thought that was very funny. Yeah, I thought that was creative. But yeah, I had a great time with they're these. Fun. Yeah. yeah, they're very fun. Um, I would have, I, it would have been a fascinating experiment in a world where these the theatrical plan yeah. worked out. I would have loved to see what that looks like. Do you know if they're going to make another? I feel like these were popular enough that they could probably do another three of them. I don't yeah, know. they'd probably, probably just go straight back to Netflix, yeah, though. Yeah, Netflix I imagine so, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I am shocked that it even got, like, made because it's such a weird plan. It is. It's um, just, just like, an oral Stein book, but, like, there was swearing and fucking blood. Actually, yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I read. I did read that first that book that they used to like protect themselves from the stabbing. It's not a great book. Mm. That's the other thing. They're not great books, you know. But <laughs> what? <laughs> short reads, though. Hey. So, anyways, the Forever Purge. The Forever Purge. <laughs> the Forever Pandemic. You know? Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, All right. Uh, we'll Black never stop know. coffee. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, they kept making. They made another purge movie. Mm-hmm. Um, this one, it's just weird because like the last, last one besides the first purge was like, hey, the purge is over. But then like it just came back. Like I feel like if you watch the show that was went on for two seasons, apparently it is oh. ridiculous. Um, and yeah, then, like they explain like how it came back, but it's just weird how like they had a movie was like 
no more purge guys we did it and then like it's purge again <laughs> it's <laughs> back what but, is that it's the purge <laughs> it's oh. again. but it's also just like a, such a dumb idea of like all the people just like guys what if we just kept killing like they can't stop us <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> And also just like, <clears throat> I'm getting just like straight into it, but like, in order to plan that, there'd have to be some sort of trail somewhere, like people talk about On the online, dark web? On the dark web or the, okay. These on idi- Facebook. These idiots would use Facebook or like yeah. Reddit or something, let's be honest here. Yeah. Um, so like, you'd think people would be prepared, but no, it was like, holy, what are well, we fucking Again, do? man, oh my I, God. again, there is a fucking siege on the Capitol. Like fucking. That's you know real, what? You're, that's a good this point. Year. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> they they just walked in there, <laughs> and they were like, "Good brother purge," and they're like, "Ah, oh, fuck." Okay, oh, I guess. these guys. All oh. right. <laughs> I guess. Um, <laughs> guys, don't go in that room. Let's go in that room. Oh, oh damn I it! Destroyed everything. <laughs> what do we do? You know, that's a fair point. Yeah. Just, so I impressive. Like so uh, the, I like how you have the character I am. Is like I haven't heard of the pandemic, but I'm aware of the attack uh, on the capital. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you're, the, you're you're online in a weird I, way. I'm selectively online. Selectively online. Yeah. Selectively online. Yes. <laughs> um, my thing going into this, and I mentioned it last time, was they're like, ah, oh, I can tell it's in Texas. It's going to be like a Latino thing, and whatever. Um, and so that, that this is where I was, and I said this like when we came out of it. I was like, am I, do I like this because it's mainly a Latino perspective thing? And like, oh, I can relate to this. I, can, I, can, I get where they're coming from. Um, and I was like, is, that, is this also why people really liked the first purge? Because I thought the first purge was terrible. But I know uh, a lot of black film critics were like, oh, I love this fucking movie. It's great. Really? For the, yeah. Oh, for the first version. Okay. Because I remember we didn't Okay, like I was... No, I forgot. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Not the Xbox I'm one. Sorry. Yeah, the original Xbox. Okay, 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 yeah, okay. No. okay. So, yeah. that, makes, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, they, no, like, no. they like Ethan Hawke's The Purge. No, no, that's the one that's for us, right? Oh, <laughs> that's right. Like, that's oh, I relate right. to Ethan Hawke. <laughs> so that's to say that, like, yeah, they're like... They're like weird, grindhousey, like kind of sociopolitical movies, and they always have been this. But like two ones have been like racially, like uh, a perspective from a racial lens. Like this is like the black characters we're following here, we're following the Latino characters, and so maybe I'm like maybe this is just like it's not art, it's not great. I enjoyed it. I had an okay time. I was like, yeah, this is fun. I had a fun time. Definitely not my favorite out of all of them. I think. Um, yeah. I think my favorite was the either second. Our Anarchy is, is two. Yeah. I think yeah. Anarchy was just good. And I like the third, the third one fine. Second one's my favorite. I don't know the difference between the second one and the third one. The second one, he's got, he's got the giant car. He's like, brr, I'm going to go, brr. Not reading a and single And the third bell. one, he's like, I'm a security guard. I, I, just, I just remember the cuts to like, it's 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 20 minutes in the purge of the guillotine is in the streets. You, you think it takes oh, more that's time. The, one, the second one's the one with the fucking dumbass, fucking twisted, like fucking cute, like, oh, we're like it's like bunny or some shit. Like they're like lights. There's like these kids in this light. I don't remember what it was, but it was really fucking annoying. It was like some fucking Joker henchman or some Ooh. shit. Anyways. Um, yeah, I don't remember. For a purge, I had an okay time personally. Um, Do you think they will continue this? Yes. <laughs> but how, how, how does this end? This ends with like essentially the United States falls and it's all like a mess. Yeah. And it's all like, we got to go to Mexico. And then yeah. they're all like, what are we called? Well, these fucking weirdos is it, is are trying to cross one, the like, border purge here. Purge USA. Like the whole Maybe. country is just purge. But then, like, what? What? You demo- would make the TV series from there instead yeah. of uh, what, 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 worldwide what? purge. Worldwide purge. Well, what demographic do we focus on then? Uh, I think you just. Make, I think at this point, you just all collectively make fun of the white people. Like, yeah. that's what you do. I mean, we've always have been. Yeah. But I think you can make it <laughs> that's more. That's what we like on this podcast. More specific. <laughs> I don't know what else you do at this point. Like, where do you go from here? Somebody, somebody. But I just feel like a lot of people who watch these movies don't get that, too. That's they're also just true. Like, like, yeah, we're purging. I wish I could do this so I could start my <laughs> Nintendo ROM website. <laughs> don't get me started. Nintendo can't stop don't me now. Me <laughs> God damn it. Anyways, uh, that's the Fur Purge. It'll be, it's a very forgettable movie, but it came yeah. out, you know? We yeah, saw it. It was very, it was very that for me where I was watching it. and I was like, "This isn't great," and then I walked out and I was like, "I'm not gonna remember this." Yep, in a week. But then you're like, you know what? Cinema's back. I watched a Purge movie. Yeah, <laughs> that's also yeah. it's comforting. It was comforting. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we're watching this. We're back. This feels familiar. And there was some person like really loud in the right who was just like, "Fucking god!" 
I don't I, remember. He reminded me of the stupid person next to me who would not shut the fuck up. I don't remember. <laughs> they this. were talking through the entire film. I knew I was. I think I told you this when we were driving home. I knew I was in trouble when uh, there the person they were with left for two minutes at the very beginning, and then they came back. They're like, "What did I miss?" And the person who was right next to me just went on like a spiel, describing every single <laughs> detail of every single frame of the two minutes of the movie that they missed. They're like, "Oh, they went in this dark tube." It's like, oh my fucking god! And they were talking for longer than the scene. What that movie was it? The Forever Purge. That was the Forever Purge. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyways. They wouldn't shut up. <laughs> Anyways, that's the Forever Purge. Um, <laughs> so it's bad. Yeah, it did make me feel right back at home at the movies, where I was like, oh my god, this person won't shut up. <laughs> Speaking, it's like I'm uh, back at Marcus Theaters. Back, <laughs> speaking of back in the movies, the Marvel magic is back, baby, with Black Widow, the movie everybody wanted at the right time, <laughs> released also at the right time. Um, it just looped back. You, it got. It was so late that people were like, "Hey!" It's like it's like fashionably late. Yeah, because people were like the thing that nobody was excited for. It's a, It just showed up eventually, and like, ah, you know. Like, hey, we were literally just packing up the party. Yay. <laughs> but you're here now, so I guess we're going to stay up later. <laughs> hey, I'm here. I brought the apple cider donut Oreo. <laughs> no! <laughs> um, yeah, Black Widow. Uh, man, remember? I just remembered this now. I was like, what can I remember Black Widow? I was like, remember the fucking haunting cover? <laughs> was it Smells Like Teen Spirit <laughs> from the intro of that fucking movie? How the fuck, man? And you are Marvel? That is what create. That is... Okay. Cut to all the, uh, like, edits and cosplay videos I see on TikTok to this song now. Oh, is there? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe so I funny. should look that up. It's actually. so funny. <laughs> uh, that's all I can say about my That's so... I'm, I'm so happy you brought that up when we left the theater. Because when it was happening, I was like, oh, oh, no. And then I forgot. <laughs> they never have credits in these yeah. movies and they decided no we gotta do this they found this song and they're like oh guys we, we gotta to. do this <laughs> we never have that fucking credits so for these sad. fucking movies <laughs> anyways this movie's fine it's a fine action movie it's like a born movie or something yeah. it's whatever it's an action movie I wouldn't watch this movies normally though so yeah. I don't know I like yeah. um is it Rachel Weiss? Oh, Rachel Weiss? Yeah, yeah, I enjoy Rachel Weiss when she was on screen. She's nice. David Harbour's great. David, David Harbour's all right. Yeah, I like how his his knuckles were Karl Marx. <laughs> Did you guys remember yeah, that? Yeah, I, I do remember that. that. His knuckles tattoo was like Karl Marx, and it's like that's that's great. that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> Classic David. I do like the idea of him as a washed up Russian version. Of that Captain was yeah. America. That was interesting. That interesting. That's interesting. I'd, I'd like to see more of that, but mm-hmm. if, if if they do more, they'll probably be in some crappy. Disney Disney Plus Plus yeah, yeah, yeah. What if it <laughs> was Captain America? Whoa, <laughs> that's crazy. Check this out. And I'm sorry, folks. I, I, I'm not obsessed with Florence Pugh as everyone else. Mm-hmm. So her presence didn't... I, I mean, she was fine, but yeah. it didn't elevate the movie for that's me. That's fair. Um, she was my favorite part, easily. I yeah, just enjoyed, same. I just enjoyed her her comedy interjecting into that because it was like this is this is fun i i like a joke about the the stand the pose did you like that that was pretty good <laughs> her accent didn't bother me as much as i thought it would so yeah like, same oh, this is, after this a while you're just used to it <laughs> uh i i liked all the parts where it was the characters interacting with each other and then once the action started i was like this yeah this yeah. doesn't do a single thing for me and, and it looked not great but not that i'm an action connoisseur but it's, it's, I think it just like shows like Marvel will hire these great actors and then you know the funnest parts are like where they're just talking mm-hmm. and like you just you know just actors being actors and then it goes to like the very like choreographed action scene that they planned out before they right. casted everything yeah. we have to plug you into this scene we yes. animated <laughs> yeah and it's just like okay like it's all like you know impressive but it's just I feel nothing and you'd think after a year of no Marvel movies I'd feel something but it's like <laughs> Not, I would not pay thirty dollars on uh, Disney Plus oh for it, okay. which was interesting because no, uh, you know it didn't uh, make that much money, and then Scarlett Johansson sued Disney. <laughs> I mean, good for her. Good yeah. for her. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that was. I, I assumed that got uh, squashed, but I guess not. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard the any follow ups on that. I don't know. 
She's working on a century, uh, 20th Century Fox movie, but I don't know if that's... <laughs> I don't know if she's really just holding out for, like, Disney Marvel stuff. I don't know. I mean... God bless her. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> um, Black Widow. Black Widow. I now we won't make any because our star sued us. <laughs> pig. pig! Pig, baby! All I know about it is that there's a pig. Nicolas Cage really likes that pig. It's a very but... cute-looking pig from the trailers I saw. Mm-hmm. I have not seen it. It is mm-hmm. very cute. Uh, I went to see this on a Monday night after my open to close shift at work because I was like, I need this. And it's fantastic. It's very, very good. And I think kind of the, the meme surrounding this movie is that almost every single person who reviews it thinks they're like, they go in thinking that it's going to be like a John Wick type Nicolas Cage freakout movie. And I think that works to its benefit because it's not that at all. Okay. It's because it's like the thing is he is like this uh, off the grid guy who lives in this cabin in the forest and he lives with this pig and the pig is a truffle pig and it goes out and finds these truffles and these mushrooms and he sells them to the Alex Wolf character and that's how he makes his living and then the pig gets stolen and then the entire movie is him uh, enlisting Alex Wolf and they go into town to try and weave through the the web of this truffle business to figure out who took the pig because it's like a sought after pig to have for oh. this truffle business and it's just really heartfelt and really like serene and genuine and also heartbreaking huh. it's so it's so good and nicholas cage's performance is amazing and it's really i i really really liked it okay yeah, I, would I, heard, I had I no idea really what it was about things. until right now. I've heard it's like his best like performance. It's not you know like your shirt, Mandy. That's yeah, just exactly. Screaming. <laughs> it's it's just a genuine like. Or at least it's been a while since. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what the last. Bad Lieutenant. He was like playing like not that. You uh, make something. Just... Uh, he's great. He is great at <laughs> The Movie is a little hectic though. That movie's amazing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I personally don't think I've ever seen a performance of this brand from Nicolas Cage where he's just... There's parts where he gets emotional and then those feel all the more powerful because he's just been a pretty... I don't want to say flat because it's more than that, but he doesn't he doesn't overreact to anything throughout the film most of the time. Mm. It's just him going on this journey and you start off the film like not knowing anything about Nicolas Cage's character. He's just a guy who lives in the forest. But then as he goes through the town, you start to unfold more about him and get more endeared to him and learn about his story and why he is the way he is. It's just so good. So good. Prepare to cry. I cried a lot. Okay. Gotcha. It's is, so good. Do you have it streaming now? Uh, yeah, it's Probably available. Like it's available for rent. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's pig. I like pigs. Pigs are, very, pigs are an underrated animal. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah. Um, well, two things. One, I enjoy that this is the second movie with Alex Wolf that we're going to be talking right. about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, two, I hear that Nicolas Cage is working on a new thing. Um, I thought it was like somehow related to the, either the pr- production folks who worked on Color Out of Space or something. It's not Richard Stanley, but I thought there was another uh, of that brand. Maybe. I need to look that up. I'm not sure. I was listening to the a only, podcast. The only upcoming <clears throat> Nicholas Cage movie I'm aware of is the one where he plays himself. Yeah, the unbearable weight of enormous talent. Exactly. That's, that's what I'm putting on my gravestone. <laughs> <laughs> Killed by the unbearable it... weight of enormous talent and yes. my headband. Yes. <laughs> what, is it a documentary or is it? No. Is it like a, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a fictional movie where he plays himself and oh. Pedro Pascal is like some eccentric billionaire who pays him to perform at his birthday party and something <laughs> weird happens that that's my understanding it of the sounds plot. amazing i know right <clears throat> interesting all right yeah cool well that was good pig is fantastic um gunpowder milkshake yeah this is this is a netflix movie um do you guys like john wick that's i i i i would like to think i would like it if i gave it another shot so John Wick is good. John Wick three has kind of soured with age for me. It's kind of boring really? when you watch it. I, it's I, really I'm... good in the theater that's full of people cheering, and then when you watch it on Blu-ray at home on the couch, and Greg is falling asleep next to you, you're like, "This is boring." <laughs> <laughs> I get that, but Gunpowder Milkshake is another uh, John Wick movie, basically. <laughs> so uh, over the top, stylish action. Y- not as over the top but, but stylish little, action a, just just stylish action yeah karen gillen is this uh assassin who's been trained as an assassin since she was a child so she's incredibly prolific at it 
and she's on this mission. It's been a while. The movie is also mediocre at best, so <laughs> things are fading from my brain. But she goes on this mission, and she, 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 she messes it up, and then she has to just like deal with it um, as she just as things get progressively more weird. And oh, the way she messes up is so weird. She's like hired to like stop this guy from doing something and she ends up killing him but like he was like cool and like he has a daughter and now she has to take care of the daughter and then it has the whole thing like oh her and the daughter like get along but she didn't tell him that she killed his dad blah, blah, blah. and then you know as things progress uh, you know the reveal is like oh i'm sorry boo. and then it's like uh, boo, 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 boo. we're all friends but that whole thing <laughs> you guys know anyways it's fine whatever yeah. <laughs> it's fine gunpowder milkshake because it takes the weird assassin place all revolves around this like old 50 steiner 50 style diner mm. um, where all the assassins can go and like there's a no killing policy um much like the uh yeah, the hotel, hotel, hotel John, yeah John basically Mike. um and yeah it's it's fine uh you know uh angela bassett is in it uh lena Hades carla uh no. Gugino, oh, is I like how Gugino. Yeah, there's 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 some cool ladies. That sounds in like here. a movie she'd be in. Yeah, <laughs> no offense um, to her. And, and they all have they all have some really good action pieces. Um, what part does Paul Giamatti play in this? Oh, movie? he plays um, the guy who like hires her and like she's oh. just like not doing. it. He's like, no. <laughs> um, that's that's basically it. Like he, she's not doing what he wants her to do. He's like, oh, I'll get it. And there's like some sequel bait with him later. <laughs> it's like I don't know if this is gonna be a sequel, but. It's fine. It's it's. I think it's a good like turn it on and like do something else. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's not, fun. Not to go into a tangent too far, but do, Ryan, do you remember when we saw that movie Morgan, the Undertale yes. Joy AI movie? And yes. We were like, oh my god, Paul Giamatti's here, and then two <laughs> minutes later, he got his throat ripped out. Oh, Paul Giamatti. Oh, Carrie, I just want you to know that that's the first time anyone's mentioned the movie Morgan in three years. I keep, I keep referencing the, what happened? Me too! We do that. What was the other bit of that movie we always reference? Uh, I, was like, I don't remember. Oh, man, I we just gotta, remember, what happened? Oh, man, we gotta watch that again. Dude. Boy, that was, that we made the joke, the, 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 the. was that that movie? Was that Morgan too? Um, oh, I remember Morgan now. Okay. Yes, yes. I, never saw I that. want to. Was that wasn't? Oh, it was Valerian. Yes, <laughs> yes, that was Valerian. <laughs> um, <laughs> now that's a movie we gotta watch again. Oh, uh, no. No, 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 no. Interesting. Anyway, got a pint of milkshake. That's all you gotta say about that. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> well, John, you like John Wick? I told you I think I would like it if oh, I gave it another shot. I like the idea of John Wick. Okay, well, this has the idea of John Wick. Mm, but girls. Mm. <laughs> mm, I'm, I'm pissed all of a sudden. I do like Kieran Gillen. <laughs> Anyways, uh, they made a new Space Jam finally. Finally. <laughs> Why do people want this sequel so bad? Like, it's, a been nostalgia. Asking for, it's a nostalgia thing. Because people have been wanting the sequel since like I was eight. Yeah. And it's like. It's not good. Uh, Space Jam's not a good movie. Space Jam Come is on fine. And slam. Welcome to the it's jam. It's a very, it's it's a very, it, it's either a movie that was like a part of your childhood or wasn't. I think. Yeah. I, I, the only time I ever watched this movie as a kid is on a field trip to Lincoln. They put this on the bus. That's a bad that, bus and, movie. And, yeah, and, and and we watched the best way to and watch we watched movie Space the first Jam. Time. Weird. And I was like, whoa, uh, the broad James. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been my project too with Michael Jordan. Because I think um, I've seen that movie like 30. I, I know the entire script of that movie by heart. Pretty whoa! Much. Okay. Pretty much because it's a movie like, it's one of those movies like you have a VHS back in the day and you'd right. watch it over and over oh, and over. Okay, also, okay. I lived in Chicago in the 90s. Mm. Ryan, who did Michael Jordan play for? Bulls. Yes, the Chicago Bulls. Whoa! I got it right! Good job. <laughs> and you during balls. During <laughs> balls. <laughs> You lost your balls. Anyways. Um, but yes, it, it, I was a child of the 90s living in Chicago. So it was absolutely inescapable, Space Jam. Again, I was a kid, so I have very weird memory of it. But it's like, especially when you were a little kid, I think, you imagine you're the main character of the world. Um, and so living in Chicago where the, the, the number one greatest basketball player of all time is 
playing in that team. I just assumed he was the most important sports person in the history of the mm. planet because you could not go anywhere without talking about Michael Jordan. And then it's got Bugs Bunny. That's that's match made in heaven. Bugs? Bugs <laughs> Bugs Whoa. Bunny. Whoa. Huh? Let's play some basketball, guys. <laughs> that's a real I love that's that. a real basketball. I love that quote from that movie. <laughs> Anyways, I'll just say Space Jam's great. I think it's just a lot of nostalgia for that and the concept of doing it again. Are people like, because people like, that this every generation is like, oh man, you remember when you things used to be cool? There's some fucking nope. kids on TikTok right now. It's like, remember Total Drama Island? Let's bring that oh, back. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it is bad. It's a fucking, there's a current season that's them as babies. Is there? Yes. Oh, you could have made that up completely. <laughs> I no, know. it's called Total Drama Rama. And it's all of them as babies in like a preschool. This is fake. Stop doing this. This is a true fact. Who are right you now. trying to? Who are you trying to impress? I don't want baby shows. Clearly, no one. Do you see the headband? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, why, why did you make Total <laughs> Drama Island baby version? Anyways, <laughs> I did it. And, and also, it was like the, the only good baby show is um, a pup named Scooby Doo. Also, that's the only good one. Yeah, that's a great one. That's no, I, I like Baby Looney Tunes. Anyways, and Muppet Babies. Them. I love Muppet Babies. Muppet mm-hmm. Babies is great. I never watched those. Oh, they're good. Anyways, also, it's a it's one people like Space Jam, and two, it's the it's the stars aligning of look at this look at LeBron James. Like he's like probably the best since Michael Jordan. Like, wouldn't it be weird if they made Space Jam again? If they made Space Jam yeah. again, you would do it with him. And remember As ba- someone who doesn't know anything about sports, I certainly hear the name LeBron James. Yes, like, exactly. That guy plays basketball. basketball. Yes. <laughs> So I get it. So it was that. It was the equivalent of people fucking back in the day making fucking fake box arts of Kingdom Hearts 3 on PlayStation 3 mm. or The World Ends With You 2 coming for the DS2 Ooh. and the weird <laughs> thing, you know? Like people that just been making great. shit up. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so that's why it would, and eventually, here it is. Um, and? It sucks. It's not good. <laughs> it misses the complete mark of what the first one was. It almost kind of makes fun of itself. Yeah, but like, cause like, why do we exist? Yeah, there's the whole scene where um, they explain to Michael Jordan, like the boardroom, like what the bit that um, Don Cheadle's character Algae Rhythm um, wants to do with him, and he's like, "This is a terrible idea." But like, he's just pitching the movie. Yeah, and like, do they not like? It feels like a script. It, it feels like a son of mask. It feels like a, we tried to make this sequel. Well, this is it's actually the true story of this movie. Like, we tried to make the sequel X amount of times, and every time they something did, fell yes. through, or this didn't work out, and this is the script we wound up doing, and then eventually somebody said yes, and was like, let's do it. Here we go. And here's what we got. And it is so, like, you lost the plot yeah. completely, um, that it's so, it's so contrived. Like, it feels like a fake script, it right? Does. Like, like, why are they even playing basketball? Why are they playing basketball? <laughs> Why is Don Cheadle this? Why is this giant algorithm man who wants to steal his kid and then he wants to take over? Like it is so contrived. Yeah. <laughs> um. And the, but LeBron the, James' son makes a fully functional video, video game, game at fourteen, and, and LeBron James like you should play basketball. It's so like he made a whole fucking game by himself. He's a child. And it's, like that is talent. How do you? But like, LeBron James rejected video but also, games because they how, made him bad. Okay, at also, <laughs> his friend gifted him a Game Boy. Oh, here and we he go. He threw it away. Threw what an ass. Like, you could just put it in your pocket. Just like, what the back. hell? Also, it was that, color. It, it, that was a regular Game Boy. Yeah, and when we cut to him, it was, it, it, it was a color. And yeah. he's like, that's not right. <laughs> Clearly, no in this movie gave yeah. a crap. I didn't catch that. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> But yeah, like that, you were like, then you can't get. How can you get away with that in the year of our Lord, twenty twenty one? Such a boring script. Like it's it, like it feels like LeBron James isn't even committed to like. <laughs> yeah, you're being this. You can clearly not. You're so obsessed with basketball that you're a, a terrible father in the most book nineties movie. Yeah. Even the original Space Jam was probably like that's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, like, we don't want to be that typical. Yeah, um, it's so stupid. And then we're not even getting to the part where like they IP, go through the IP war, madness. the IP madness. Why does Warner Brothers? Warner Brothers, I feel like, is the most like they like to share their IPs because they want to be, pretend they're a big deal. Yeah, and like sometimes that. I mean, they are a big deal, but you know, they own a lot of stuff, and like I like a lot. I of like stuff. most of their stuff. Yeah, they make a lot of good stuff. 
And they've always done that. Like I think of like the old Hanna Barbera cartoons, and they all connected with each other. You know, Speed Buggy be like, "Hey, Scooby!" Scooby. And it's like, "Whoa, what's Batman doing with the Scooby game?" Oh, yeah, Jabberjaw. Yeah, J- Jabberjaw. Yeah. <laughs> He's uh, a shark, right? Yeah, Jabberjaw is a shark. I did see him in the background, and I thought of you, and I was like, "Thank oh, you." Ryan, as, like all people, that. as all people, as all people should. <laughs> I wouldn't know who the fuck that shark was if it weren't for you. Guys. I I mostly know Jabberjaw because I watched Boomerang a lot as a mm-hmm. kid. Um, and Boomerang was, um, they didn't have, they didn't have, uh, sponsors. So in the commercials, they it would was show clips. It was just interstitials of the, yeah. yeah. But they showed this, they never got new ones. Nope. So for years, <laughs> they used the same ones. And one of them was a Jabberjaw music video that I still remember all of it in my mm. head because I listened to it yeah. 15 million times. Yeah. So it Cart- played in every commercial. Country Network and Nickelodeon had these as well, but they also had advertisements. They did, yeah. yes. Boomerang like, was like made as like a passion project like, to like preserve old cartoons. Like somebody brought it up recently on Twitter. It's like, remember back when they did the Scooby-Doo gang, but in the Blair Witch? Like they superimposed. That was awesome. Yeah, that was really cool. Uh, but it was like that kind of stuff they did. Yeah, they, they, they've they done really cool stuff. And this sucks. Sucks. This movie sucks. It's not it's great. Not good. Um, it's just so. It's curve, like who's it for? You know, who's it for at this point? They, at no point did they play Space Jam. Did they Greg don't, enjoy it? But they don't. They. It's like, it was right. They don't play Space Jam the song. Yeah. They, it's like that why? Was, that Greg was pissed. You don't play Space Jam. <laughs> you, you'd think they'd do like a trap remix. I think mice. It's so weird. Like how they did the trap remakes of the sauce. And you would have played it during the montage. I was shocked that I was like, good, they had the montage. Great. That's all I really wanted from this movie because I love the stupid montage. But they didn't play the song during then. I don't know. That was your chance. Um, You could have gotten a perfect 10 out of 10 from Greg Dotson. Yeah. Um, you had Zendaya. Zendaya could have done and it. I mic- had no idea that was her until I, I was did. Making, exactly. Until I was making these show notes and I was like, what? I know. She's not right? Michi. <laughs> she is She's not, not Michi. Michi. <laughs> when they announced that, people were like, what? Also, yeah. it, was, it was again like the Scooby Doo thing. Like, I mean, the Scoob thing where it's all like, you're just recasting the voice actor for. Well, actually, it was Kirsten Wig for a while who was Lola Bunny. Yeah. And she, that and new she, thing. That was a great show and she did a great job yeah. at, with that voice she was just like a normal person and she, like and she like <laughs> brought like personality to a character that was created as yeah. a sex i do remember that show was good I do yeah remember that, that that's a very underrated so show. maybe not a traditional like actor who played this character forever but it, it does feel that weird like we're gonna put zendaya as lola bunny because that's marketable yes as michi <laughs> it didn't work right? i had no idea <laughs> well you know what things happen Anyways, yeah, this, this movie is so contrived and a nightmare. Um, I recommend watching Space Jam, the original. My, my, my only it's thought is, divot. like, you know, they, they visit a bunch of IPs and stuff, so they visit, like, Mad Max World and Matrix World and Austin Powers World. And I was pretty good. I was pretty happy about I, that. I didn't like any of that. But my, my least favorite one... And Anytime like I, Austin Powers and I, back. And I, had, and I had, like, this thought in my head, like, oh, the, the clip of this... It's going to have like a million views on YouTube when I look it up. And it was when Rick and Morty showed up. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I went on YouTube and I Googled that and had a million views. And the movie had been out for 24 hours because <laughs> Rick and Morty fans are weird. <laughs> and I like that show. And they're weird. They're too obsessive about it. I think the montage with the movie stuff was interesting that they went through that much effort. Um for like, something that like kids won't get, right? Because I'm watching the Mad Max. Like, yeah. this is not for yeah. nobody. This is for. Yeah. I just couldn't get Ready Player One out of my head the entire time I was watching. Another this movie, Warner Brothers like, property. Ew. <laughs> Disgusting. It's almost like they didn't have. Faith. It's almost they didn't have confidence in the Looney Tunes to carry, which the, is weird yeah. because that whole point of Space Jam was that Looney no, Tunes. Nobody cared about Looney Tunes again. Until Space Jam. Yeah. Looney Tunes were like, oh, those are old cartoons that we like, whatever. And then put them with Michael Jordan. I was like, oh, I love Looney Tunes. It's great. They're cool again. Mommy, I don't want to go to school today. I want to stay home and make cookies with you. Everybody remembers that line that Daffy Duck says in that movie. Uh. Oh, come on. <laughs> to be fair, it's not like uh, the original Space Jam had like a Men in Black reference. Oh, no, it was a Pulp Fiction reference mm-hmm. in it. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Anyways, this movie's really bad in a nightmare, and it's like nothing. It doesn't make anybody happy, I don't think. No. Like, it's for nobody. (laughs) And somehow they tried to appeal to everybody, they appeal to nobody. So, congratulations. Don Cheel's just chewing up the scenery, (laughs) having a great time. It's it's a big, like, shoot high, and then, you know, you miss completely. And it's pretty impressive. Um, Anyways. It's like going for a three pointer in basketball. Oh. But you're. Oh. But you're. Yeah. You you throw it the other way. 
and, and it hits the you go to the wrong hoop yeah oh god that that was also the weird thing is like because in the original Space Jam is like, oh, like the scoring is all weird because they're cartoons. It's crazy. But, but here it's just like, it's weird. a video game? Yeah. Remember the notorious we PIG did. part? And he made 800 points. Because it was like... Because it was a rap song. Like, that's not... That's cheating. <laughs> that's cheating. Facts. <laughs> okay. And so, okay. The last thing I'll say, good job, Space Jam. The Michael Jordan joke that was, was really funny. very, very good. <laughs> It was very good. I don't like that joke. I was right. great. I thought that was the easiest fucking joke they could have made <laughs> yeah, in that movie. Well, guess what? That whole fucking movie was phoning in, and you might as well do the thing. And they went all the way with the Michael Jordan's song and everything. It was great. I loved yeah, it. I it was that. fantastic. <laughs> very good. Anyways. Don't judge me, Ryan, with your fucking headband. I'm not wearing anything. Also, weird. they could not actually get the real Michael Jordan, which is also sad. It's kind of a dunk on them as well that they could not get Michael Jordan to yeah. come back. They, they did have the picture of the poster. They did have that, yeah. a few shots. Oh, yeah, he had, also, a, he had a Joker poster in his office. Yes. <laughs> yes, <okay. laughs> Another weird thing. This is a world where Space Jam exists. Yeah. Why are we doing this again? It didn't work out. You, an algorithm who knows it, you know this didn't work out well last time. Why would you do that? You know what they should have done? Um, <laughs> instead of, you know, Matrix or they should have had one of Lucian's characters go down the Joker stairs. <laughs> that would have been genuinely With funny. the Joker, one of Lucian's character would go down the Joker mm. stairs. Holy shit. I, I feel know. like Daffy Duck. I was yeah, a Daffy Duck. Yeah, that Daffy would be. Make- <laughs> That would that would turn my one star view straight into five. I hate, I hate that I'm genuinely excited at that idea. I hate that that's the kind of person I am. But that's, that would have been so funny. That would have been great. That's why this movie failed. There was not enough Joker now, references. Now that I know that that could have and didn't happen, I hate this movie more. Anyways, <laughs> speaking of laughable films, uh, old. <laughs> Completely about that beach that makes you old. That makes you old. Um, I, it's weird because you can't say I can't say anything else. That's that's the movie. <laughs> the what beach, the movie okay, here's what. The, okay, here's here's what I'll say. This movie, and it's hard because it's been so long. This movie is great. It is so fucking surreal and bizarre and otherworldly. The editing, the performances. <laughs> The dialogue, <laughs> yeah. the pacing, it's all like, why? <laughs> why? Why is everybody, sp- everybody speaking English? And it's not the accents. Like, it's just the way sentences are formed oh, yeah. or written and the way they deliver them <laughs> that it feels alien. Yeah. <laughs> and it is fascinating. And I, for one, I... I... <laughs> I know I might not be uh, with company here, but I love that. <laughs> I know Ryan is also mid-sized a sedan. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he keep trying to be hip with the kids? But yeah, I oh. I hated this. <laughs> I hate this movie is so frustrating. <laughs> the beach makes you old, and like the way to get off the beach, it just like. We can't walk off the beach that we can't because, uh, 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 you just can't. It sells, right? man. It's stupid. It, it, the the I think movie, it's pretty good. The movie's logic works against stupid. it. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the beach makes you old, Ryan. Yeah, think about it. You're not paying attention. <laughs> Look, I get it. The, 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 the baby was born very quickly. That's very funny. But then, like, they forgot <laughs> no. about it. <laughs> I don't know, man. When that doctor explained that, there's a split second, and it was like, could this happen in real life? <laughs> could there be a beach that makes you old? Because <laughs> it's like, it's not aliens. It's not the fucking earth itself was pissed it's off. And it's it was just like the beach a... makes you old. It's these rocks. It's the rocks, old. though, it's man. The rocks. <laughs> the movie made me. Yeah. <laughs> the movie made me old. <laughs> Feel this movie made this I mean, movie feel like I gained ten quick. years after it was over. If I have one complaint to lodge with it, what is that? So it may be M Night or somebody decided to actually give this movie a definitive happy ending where they over-explained what happened way yeah. too much. Yeah, I didn't need all that. The right. whole thing where like yeah. we're going in, we took them down. Like here's all that. Like I could have used the lab scene and maybe a zoom out and then credits. Mm-hmm. This whole thing, I didn't need that at all. And apparently, it was just 
But that was a lot. I didn't I have, need that. I have a friend who watched this movie and said that uh, they thought it would have been cool if, it, like, they have the lab scene and uh, then it, like, cut, like, because you think that they're, you think that the kids have died yeah. in the tunnel with the coral, but then it cuts back and you see that they got free and he thought it would have been cool if they ended on that shot where it's the above shot and it's them floating the water and you see the fish come back it's like oh they made it out yeah that would have been great that would have been a great ending yeah but, so they're like okay here's the deal with the beach and how and why <laughs> then they have to come back old. and dismantle the hotel and be like we are 12 <laughs> <They're> like, <"What?" laughs> whoa you were 12 yesterday <laughs> Anyways, Kara, did you have anything specific you wanted to praise? I just really, I, I like this movie a lot, and I don't know that I, I like should. It. I think it's great. I think it's uh, extremely unique, and I'm a person who enjoys unique film experiences because I'm just like. I feel like if this movie was in Italian, that people would love this fucking you're movie so, right. so much. <laughs> you not shut up about That's it, dude. That's true, but no, I think that this movie. Uh, it has a bit. I don't think you get it. The pizza makes you old, all right? <laughs> Please. Like, the shots would have been like, oh, it's great. That's no, I just imagine if this was a Italian movie and I would be defending it because oh, it's like, I see. You guys-